Hello YouTube. Okay, this is part two of our corner bucket. We showed how we get this far in the first video. What we'll do is I'll show you the inside of this bucket. There's a Dewey Mister down inside there. Like I said, it's attached with its suction cups. Got a quarter inch poly line coming out for the air. That's just gonna plug straight up into the air pump here, like on this one, the eight neck cups that have been cut with a neoprene in them. And all you gotta do is, I always wondered this and I figured I'd finally get some and try it out. If you just take your neoprene, push it in there, and it holds itself. It'll also hold a plant, which we'll show you here in a second. You can also do this out of uh, the styrofoam coolers. Get ready to have a big mess on your hands, but it will work. So let's go over to the hydroponic tomatoes. Let's get some suckers pulled off of it. Let's get them in the cloning bucket and see what we can get going. Okay, here we are at our hydroponic better boy tomato. This is grown, being grown in a DWC or deep water culture system. Got nice fruit on it. What we're going to do is we're going to actually pick some suckers off of it. And we're going to put them in the cloning bucket. We're going to start with this one here. This is actually a sucker that got way, way too big and I didn't break it off. It does have some blooms on top, so we're going to see what happens with it. But it's probably going to get cut off probably sometime here in the next week, somewhere along in there. I just can't bring myself to do it yet because it's got blooms and I want to see what's going to happen. Now here we have a good sucker. It's coming off the main branch here. It's in the elbow of this side chute. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to take it and snap it off, just like that. I'm going to put it over here for the time being. It's going to go in the, book, in the cloning bucket. Here's another sucker that's gotten a little bit big out of hand. So what we're going to do with it, same exact thing. Here's the main chute coming up. This is in the elbow or crook, armpit, whatever you want to call it, of the plant. We just take it and snap it off. Now going back to the main branch again, we have this big sucker over here that should have been cut. I've been tied up with some with my aphid war going on on my eggplant in the same system, but what we'll do with it is we'll just snap it off just like this other big one. And then last but not least, here's a good example of a sucker. You got your main chute coming up. Main chute goes off this way, actually has blooms on it. Your side chute comes over to the left, and right in the crook, that's a sucker. Just take it and snap it off. And we'll go put all those in the cloning bucket and show you what nutrients we use and all that. Okay, here we are back with our cloning bucket. We have our suckers we pulled off the Better Boy tomatoes in the hydroponic system. Here we have our cloning solution that's going to supply the nutrients to all the clones inside this bucket. What this is, is Clonex Clone Solution. All the instructions come on the back of it. It's got all the nutrients that obviously your little suckers are not going to get at this point in time. They have no roots to pull the nutrients out of the water or dirt that they're in. So this has nitrogen, phosphate, potash, or basically your NPK. And it's got some other good stuff in it like calcium nitrate, potassium nitrate, potassium, all the good nitrates for your suckers to start growing roots so they can maintain their own nutrients once again. And this will last you quite a while. This basically uses 20 milliliters per gallon and that's what we're going to put in the two gallon bucket over here is 20 milliliters. Then it says to adjust the pH to 5.5 to 6.5 so we'll shoot for the middle about six. Let's get some nutrients in the bucket and then we'll go from there. Okay, what we've got here now is I went ahead and put a half a gallon of uh, water I've got out of the rain barrel in here. I can't find any of my gallon jugs and I don't want to wait around. If I used the tap water straight out of the tap I'd have to sit out here and let it, let it bubble for about an hour to get the chlorine out. So we went and tapped some off the rain barrel that we've got on the other end of the house. And honestly, you don't have to be this precise. But if you have a, a friend that's a vet or you know a vet real close, you have a good relationship with him, go speak with him. He might actually have one of these big, humongous needles here. 
Uh, you don't really need the needle part of it. Needle scare me, so we'll put that right down in there. Mix them up a little bit. Pour it into the bucket. And there's your nutrients for your clones. Check on things during the week a couple of times. Make sure that roots are coming out, coming along. Now what we're going to do is try to give you a look down inside the bucket. Show you actually what's going on inside here. And that's what a dewy mister does. It just shoots the water up randomly. I'll have to adjust this one a little bit. Normally it shoots all the way out the bucket. So I've probably got too much of the hole covered up or not enough one of the two. All right, let's continue This on. next part is completely and totally up to the individual. I like doing it because it makes me feel a little better about getting roots on the clones. Well, what this is, clonic rooting gel. Now, basically, this is made more, a little bit more for if you're going to put your plants down in soil. It helps them establish a root system a lot quicker. Well, it does the same thing in water like we have here. The problem is, the water is going to wash it off. There's no doubt in my mind. But when it washes it off, in my warped way of thinking, it'll come back up and it'll hit the entire root up there and help everything out. So it's kind of six one way, half a dozen the other. But it's up to you, like I said. What we'll do is we'll pour a little cloning gel into a shot glass. Because heaven forbid, if you pull some suckers off a plant that has a disease, or a fungus, or a blight, and you stuck it down inside this rooting gel bottle just as it is, and then you got some from another plant, guess what? You've just passed along your blight, your disease, fungus, whatever that plant had. And this way you're not infecting everything else that you might actually put inside here. A lot of people have a lot of different ways to do this. What I do is I'll get rid of some of the leaf growth because realize that there's nothing down here to feed these leaves in this plant at this point in time so what I'll do is I'll trim a little bit off not a lot just a little bit now down here you need to cut this at a 45 degree angle the reason for that is you want as much surface area to come in contact with your nutrients your clump your rooting gel and as a matter of fact, some people will even say, and it doesn't hurt, is come up here and scrape just a little bit. I mean, just barely scrape the, skin, the outer layer of skin off. And this is a tomato, so it's a vine. Scrape just a little bit off of it. We'll put it down in the rooting gel. Grab one of our neck cups for the neoprene. Slide it right up into the middle of it. Place it right back down in there. And there you should have, when this grows up and becomes mature, an exact genetic copy of the Better Boy tomato that we pulled this sucker off of. It should have the same variety, same texture, same taste, same everything, if everything is planted in the same exact medium and everything is in the same exact controlled environment. Now on this bigger one here, what I'm going to do, cut this off and trim it down a little bit and start a clone from it. And I could cut this off and start a clone. But we're going to take the main one here and we're going to cut it off up here. And once again, we're going to chop just a little bit of the leaf off of it because once again, it really can't fend for itself at this point in time. You cut that right on top of that node there, 45 degree angle. Give it a little bit of scrape, just enough to kind of injure the skin right there. Not deep, just enough to get down to the next layer. Give it a good soak in the cloning gel. Some people say five seconds. I stick it in there, wiggle it around, give it a nice purple coating. I want a word of advice. Do not do this inside. Do not get that purple gel on anything 
that you don't want stained. You'll have a nice purple spot on whatever it gets on. Okay, and what we'll do with the ones that were not, they were offshoots of the sucker, we'll mark them by putting a little white marking tag in there. Just to let us know which ones were, I'll also go ahead and put a date on there. I know all these went in on the bucket on the 3rd of July. And there you have a cloner bucket. You can have eight clones at a time. It does not necessarily have to be tomato plants. We did check the pH of the water. We adjusted it to where it, it was about six, between six, six point one, somewhere in there. So let's give it a week and let's come back and check it in. Okay, and before we go, I wanted to show you what the results were from the first corner bucket. Now this plant in the back here, it was put in the bucket on 622. So it's been in there about a full week now. Not too many roots. Now the rest of these have been in there for two, between two to two and a half weeks. And as you can tell, they all have very nice root systems. I wouldn't be afraid to take any one of these and just plop them straight into the hydroponic bucket or maybe straight up into some soil and let it go. Please leave your comments or any questions down in the box below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Until next time.